New details of the second-generation Kia Niro have been revealed ahead of the crossover's market launch in the coming months. The new Niro is slightly larger than its predecessor, measuring 4,420mm long, 1,825mm wide and 1,545mm tall, increases of 65mm, 20mm, and 10mm respectively. In the ground-up redesign, the new Nero takes influences from Kia's 2019 Habanero concept, namely the front-end design and the two-tone effect on the car's C-pillars. Unusually, the C-pillar also houses the vertically stacked taillights, visually separating them from the tailgate, which adopt a boomerang shape. At the front, the brand's trademark tiger face has evolved, with a large lower intake and small upper grille, separated by a full-width chrome strip. The LED headlights and running lights are housed in separate pods, with Kia claiming the running lights mimic a heartbeat. The main visual difference between the hybrid Nero and the fully electric e Nero is a charge port integrated into the front fascia of the latter. The Nero's cabin has also been thoroughly updated. A curving style line flows upwards on the door trims, with Kia claiming that opposing horizontal and diagonal lines on the car create a calming yet irregular aesthetic. The dash is dominated by a large, single-piece display combining digital instruments and a widescreen infotainment screen with separate touch-sensitive climate controls underneath. A new ambient lighting strip crosses the dash, while the center console contains physical switchgear and the rotary drive mode selector. The Nero's headrests also incorporate coat hangers. Alongside the resultant increase in cabin room, the battery has been moved out of the boot cavity to sit alongside the traction battery under the rear seats, increasing boot capacity by 15 litres to 451 litres. The Nero will be launched with hybrid, plug-in hybrid and battery electric powertrains, but Kia has so far only detailed the hybrid, which will use the same system as the outgoing car. A 1.6-litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine, producing 104 brake horsepower and 106 pounds-feet, is paired with a 43 brake horsepower electric motor, for a combined output of 139 brake horsepower. The model retains its six-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, but Kia said it has been carefully engineered and optimized to increase efficiency and reduce weight. Kia claims, the new Nero Hybrid is capable of 59.1 miles per gallon on the Korean test cycle. It has also detailed a new feature whereby the Hybrid and PHEV will use data from the SatNav system to switch between petrol and electric power where appropriate. The new e Nero will remain separate from the firm's line of EV-badged bespoke electric cars and won't use the eGMP platform reserved for those models. An evolution of the current e Niro single motor, front-wheel drive powertrain is expected, although the shorter-range car could be discontinued in light of higher demand for the 282-mile 64kWh battery option. Other modifications for the MK2 Niro include a revamped suspension setup, claimed to improve responsiveness and stability, reconfigured steering for improved steering feel, and enhanced sound deadening throughout the car's structure. Kia launched the hybrid variant of the new Niro in the home market in January, with prices starting at KRW 26.6 million, or 21,632 US dollars. The electric variant will also go on sale in the first half of the year in South Korea and roll out globally in a sequential manner. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.